most of the individuals who will have the equity given to them out of their homes will be nowhere near what the developer will do with that home. And so, whereas I may have $40,000 that I have invested in my house, and they say, well, look, we'll give you sixty-five. dollars So I walk away with the sixty-five, dollars but they sell the house for $650,000 after they come. So, and then neighborhoods where neighborhoods are, and I'm going to use this word, erased, and communities have been put in place, the percentage of people who return to those new communities is very small, simply because they cannot afford to move back into those communities. So you've, you've displaced a, a segment of the population. The point that, that can be brought out here is the things that are happening in France right now. Mm -hmm. And I see that as a, a, a seed. America's seed is very green, mm -hmm. but it could sprout at any time. And that segment of the population, which we're discussing, can be pushed so far. And then you will see the ramification of what it means when people don't have any more hope. And so my, my thinking is it's better not to put a Band-Aid on the situation because the Band-Aid's not going to hold. Someone needs to step up to the plate and say, just as you said, we need to deal with this. This, this right now is just a wet spot on a piece of paper, but the piece of paper is getting ready to get saturated. As you look around in the various parts of these United States, and just in Pennsylvania, look around and you're seeing all this new housing stock go up, you're seeing all these condos go up, but you're not seeing housing go up unless it's on federal land to deal with low-income and moderate-income people.